Chris joins me now from Central Park. So Chris, uh, the city's previous uh, police commissioner actually described these as midget cars. I don't know if that was the best phrase to use. Um, I'm wondering though, with that sort of characterization, do officers find it a little demeaning to use the cars? Well, that was one of the, the big concerns. Would the officers feel like they were driving wimpy vehicles? And mm. what they have found is, in many cases, the officers are, are very happy with the car because it's replacing another vehicle where they had to wear a helmet, they had to have a specialized motorcycle license, and it didn't have air conditioning. And anyone who has spent time in New York City in the summer knows how valuable air conditioning is. <laughs> Indeed. Plus, they're also, you got an airbag, they're for crash resistant, so there's a lot of safety arguments. They've been pretty popular with the officers. Okay, so they are cheaper, they're safer, people find them approachable. Is there not a possibility that maybe we will see these cars popping up in other cities? Well, we know that the Phoenix Police Department and the San Diego Police Department, as well as a couple of sheriff's offices around the country, use them mostly in a parking enforcement role. Uh, but there's a, a sheriff's department in Georgia that is using them to patrol a park, for example, where they had seen an increase in crime. So, uh, you know, for specialized purposes, you very well may see them popping up in some uh, some other agencies across the country. You know what? I think they're pretty cute. I see why people find them approachable. And all those cities that you mentioned, the air conditioning would definitely come in handy. So not bad at all. Chris Van Cleve in Central Park. Thank you so much, Chris. Sure thing.